this is how you know you're caught up. You think it's a job. It's it's not just a job, y'all. It's not just a job. You know, everything you do as a Christian has purpose and meaning. And it's being done by God. You're placed in positions by God. You thought you got that raise because you all that. You're cool. You're going to get new car, new clothes. Now you manager or um, <clears throat> front head host I don't know you know you own something you you don't you know God elevated you giving giving you things and putting you in high places high positions but it's not about that you were there to still fulfill a purpose in Christ get out of the world stop getting so caught up in the world you don't own your business because God wants you to just take care of things, your family, and be a great person and, um, you know, be owning. Just like, look at me, I'm owning. No, it's, it's more than this, guys. There's a purpose, there's a position. You know, you missing what God is trying to do and the setups that God is putting you in and people in. Do you know there are people that God has you come in contact with for a reason at your job? We're just going to stay focused at your job. But you can take this at your home and your travels um, when you go to restaurants. It's not just about eating. Excuse me, guys. I'm eating a wonderful, um, what do you call this? Acai fruit bowl. Mm -hmm. But in the midst of it, I was quickened and in my thoughts, God spoke this to me. And he thought it, and I thought um, he was saying to share it. So I do hope it blesses someone that stop going about your life as normal that you know, you just come, go, everything is just haphazardly and no purpose. You're trying to get that money, get to the paycheck, get to the end of the week, get to the end of the day, the end of the minute. Look for the purpose. Look for the reason. Look, see who God has sent in there. Maybe someone you, you, you're missing the setup you're supposed to pray with. You're supposed to anoint. You you know, they're supposed to bless you. I know you guys probably look for that all the time. <laughs> Where's the blessing coming from? Who's supposed to bless me? But maybe you're supposed to be a blessing to them. Maybe you're supposed to have a word for them. Um, it's like the other day, you know, came in my prayer. You know, you pray for your workplace, pray for your businesses and stuff. And um. I was told to pray with a gentleman, you know, that um, was going to come across my path. And he no longer, I will no longer see this gentleman again. Um, <clears throat> so good thing I, I was obedient. And um, come to find out, grandma is very sick, dying. Um, he was carrying a lot of distress, um, has a biblical name. Um, not everybody has a biblical name, acts biblical um Honestly, um, this is not from the Lord. This is me. He really did, is a gentleman that doesn't even seem like he wants that biblical name. When I mention that name and what it held, holds in the Bible, the significance, he's like, whatever. Like It wasn't like he was welcoming of this prayer and this word of the Lord. It was like his faith um, tank was on zero minus, you know. Um, life has really taken its toll on this young man. So, you know, um, at the moment, it didn't appear that it was something that he wanted to hear. He could care less. It was just life had, you know, has sucked the the faith out of him. You know, his mother, grandma's dying. He doesn't even know how he's going to get there. She's, you know, way over here and he lives here, like, needs a plane, doesn't have the money. He was having a bad attitude. His wife um, no longer will be working there. 
But you know, a lot of times we just have to do our part. We may not see what it does at the moment, but you pray and hope that it's planting seed in their lives. And that's it. Like some, you know, they said a farmer went out, not the one that fell on the ground, but the, um, he had to till the ground. Then others came, they, they planted seed, others water it. You know, the whole process of something growing is what we do in people's lives. You know, we don't know what part we particularly play. Did we, did we till that, that stony ground, get the rocks out the way? I mean, he could be at that place. Who knows? Someone else comes along and puts seed. You know, you're putting the word. Others are watering it. Now it took, you know, something took root in them. Something, you know, may not even appear. We may not see it, but a root has begun. And then, you know, if everybody is hearing God, going to work, listening, you know, instead of getting caught up into the gossip or, you know, unfruitful conversations or just being about unfruitful if we do our part, we will help that seed to grow and, and become fruitful one day. I mean, when you look at your life, that's pretty much what happened with you. You know, thank God for obedient Christians, you know, that did their part. Um, I took the time, you know, and some of us at times was harder than others. You know, we were way, way down in the miry clay. clay. It's like, you know, so much stone upon us that, oh my goodness, excuse me. It was not easy at all. People were like, oh, probably like, oh my God, is any of this sinking? You know, but God knows how to use us and knows how to use people. And let him use you. Stop going to work with your blinders on and being caught up. Is You know, we know as Christians, it's not about the flesh and blood. Um, Hasima, who's getting on your nerves at work, she's been placed there, you know, from God or the enemy. You, you never know because God will use the rough things to smooth you. You know, sometimes you just got to... Surrender even more. Get through. Get through. Who do I need to bless in here, Lord? Who do I need to learn from in here, Lord? Let me get through that so that you don't have to come around to this again. You know, it's about sharing, caring, loving. You know, if you can love, then they have they see God. You can love, they will see God. Everybody is not so lovable. You know, a lot of people don't understand your mission, your calling. You know, and like a pastor um, said a couple of weeks ago, a um, message I heard, Martha and Mary, two different people, two different um, perspectives of life and how God was using them. Um, you know, everybody does always pull out the part of the Bible I get there, who did what? But one was sitting at the feet of Jesus, Mary or Martha, and the other one was busy getting things ready. She was more of the detailed one. Well, did we do this? Did we? And at the time that everybody's sitting, here's Jesus. They're like, what are you doing? Do you, you know, and she's like, but he's going to be hungry. He needs this. Let's get the house ready. She probably was the one. We got to clean this house. Where the other one's like, hey, Jesus, come. I just want to sit at his feet and hear. I don't care about none of this. It's not to say that wrong one is wrong and one is right. And I love how this pastor brought it out. We have different roles and different positions, different callings. So sometimes we may think it's a pain in the, in the butt the way Sally just, did you see this? Did you see that? Maybe take her negatives and look at it like if I need to know what's going on to be watchful Sally's good for that 
Oh, thanks, Sally, for letting me know all the negative that's happening. Because, you know, when you go ready to buy stuff or do things, you can look at life. You need the balance of the good and the bad. You know, so maybe it's a different way we need to look at it. Jesus told the one sister, she's where she needs to be. He didn't knock her and say, well, you're not. Look at her. You know, he just said, she's where she needs to be. And you could look at it like, yeah, you needed, she needed to be there too. Or you're where you need to be. Don't try to make Mary come clean or Martha come clean because you doing all the detailing. And the other one can't make the other one come sit. If you more of a detail person, you want to make sure it looks right. You know, everybody needs to be where they need to be. You know, basically, that's what it is. You need to know where you need to be. And as I say, stay in your lane. Stay in your lane, but you got to know your lane. You got to pray. You got to read your word. It all goes back to where you're getting fed and what you're getting fed. Is the world, if the world is still feeding you, my sisters and brothers, and you're still, you know, inundated with everything of the world. You're being fed and that's what's going to come out. You're going to go to these workplaces and you're not spiritual. But yet you're godly. You got really think about that. You know, um, it's time to be about the meat. You know, if you call yourself a Christian, you're, you're a Christ follower. You're believing that you're going to heaven. You know, you got to be full of up on heavenly things you got to fill yourself daily daily you eat daily and god says man shouldn't even live by bread and on water alone but on every word that proceeded out of mouth on the word of god that's what we should live on as christians we need to be filling ourselves on that and that is what's going to help us discern um, have the strength to be obedient, see God, and know how He's moving in our lives. You know, there are areas I fast and pray about because I'm just like I, I'm, you know, I need more direction there. Other areas I'm getting, you know, it's just like I walk. Some things God will deliver us right away from. You don't have to pray about it anymore. God has already did it. But there's some things, you know, you might be still praying on to get clarity and deliverance or direction of discernment of. You got to keep seeking God about it. Keep seeking him. You know, uh, Paul had the thorn in his side. You know, some some things may never go. Excuse me. I don't know why this fruit is making me a little gassy. This acai and bananas and strawberries. <laughs> well, I hope this blessed you. I hope someone got something out of this. I'm going to try to keep it short today. Because um, I'll be going over the same point anyway. So just rewind. Be in your place. Be in your position. Be used by God. Allow God to use you where you're at, going to work, going to the store, going to the gas station, be listening. Did that man need a word? Did God nudge on you to say, give him, just tell him God loves you. Sometimes that's all people need to hear. I'm so tired of like not hearing it anymore. Like where are the Christians? Stand up and speak. <laughs>